Hub to display Entity List in Dynamics 365 portal. Entity List is used to display all the content of an entity in grid view format. For example, you want to display all contacts in grid view, then you have to create an entity list on contact entity. Now, let's see how to create an entity list. Navigate to portals, entity list. I will click on new button. It will redirect me to the new entity list page. Now, provide the necessary data like name. This field defines the name of the entity list. Entity name. Select the entity on which we want to create the entity list. Here, I am considering the contact entity. Website. Select the website name on which we want to display the entity list. Views. Select the views for entity list. For example, active contacts, inactive contacts. Web page for details view. Here, you have to select a web page for displaying record details when we clicked on it. Enable entity permission. When we check the checkbox, it will enable the entity permissions. Enough. Click on Save button. If you want to perform any validations, binding and hiding controls, change event and controls, you can do under Custom JavaScript by writing Custom JavaScript code. Under Grid Configurations, you can enable additional configurations like Create, Delete, calling workflows, etc. For now, I will configure on create button on the entity list page where you can redirect to a targeted record from. Target type. Select either entity form or web page or URL. Entity form. Select the desired entity form where you need to redirect to a desired entity form. Button label. This test will appear on the button. Now create a web page for an entity list to display in the portal navigation pane. Navigate to portals web page. Click on new page. Provide the necessary information which I have already explained in my previous video like name, entity information, parent page, partial URL. Since I have created an entity list, I should select the particular entity list from the lookup. Now, in the portal, click on edit button to add the contact list. Provide the details like name, which you would like to display. And in page, select the desired web page from the drop down and click on save. You will notice that contact list will be added in the navigation pane. Click on the contact list to view the list. And the create button, which I have configured in CRM in entity list page. Once clicked on it, it will redirect to the contact create page.